Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I'm going to show you how to save, export, and print your Smart Notebook files. It's very easy. There's uh, lots of advantages of using Smart Notebook, let's say, over a chalkboard or a regular whiteboard. Let's say that you're teaching students a new concept and that you have some notes that you want to share with them or have be able to have them access those notes at a later date. If you're using a regular chalkboard or whiteboard, that's almost impossible, but in Smart Notebook, it's very easy. So let's say that you want to be able to save your notes um, for a later date for students. When you save a file in Smart Notebook, it's just like saving a file, let's say, like a PowerPoint presentation. In a PowerPoint presentation, if you have 10 slides and you save it, it all saves in one file. That's the same idea in Smart Notebook. To save it, you would just go File, Save As, and then you decide on the name that you want to save it and the location. And then you just save it. Okay? Now, um, another thing that you might want to do after you finished with your notes and you want students to have access to those notes, there's a variety of ways that you can do that. Again, these are a lot of features that you wouldn't be able to do with a regular whiteboard or a chalkboard. You can actually print the notes for them. So you can go File, Print, and then you have a variety of different ways. Again, it reminds me a lot of um, PowerPoint because you can print just like the thumbnails. You can print handouts like with um, three slides per page and then places for notes. Or you can just uh, print off full pages. You can print all of the slides or just certain slides if you'd like. It's pretty nifty. Another option for you that you might like is um, you can also save your notes and export them in a variety of different formats. You can export your um, notes or your lesson as a web page, as an image file, as a PDF, or even into a PowerPoint. So in this way, if students don't have access to smart notebook software at home, um, they could easily open up the notes and review them for an upcoming test or to help them learn the concepts and review the concepts. I personally kind of like the PDF. I think it's a really a neat little way to um, share notes. You can also email those to students if you have their email addresses. So these are just a couple different ways that you can save your notes and um, share them in a variety of ways. Now one other idea for you is here's a lesson that a teacher has created and this teacher was um, having kids do this in the classroom and so they had moved things around and um, you know worked on the board or on the smart board with the lessons and now when she's finished with this, she has a couple choices. She could save um, the work as is. Maybe she wants to pick up on another slide the next day. Or she can just choose to close the file and not make any changes. So if I wanted this to go back to the original um, ready to roll for the, the next time she wants to use this lesson, she would just actually hit exit and hit, nope, I don't want to make any changes. And then the next time she opens up that file, it'll be just like the original file. Um, another possibility would be to um, do a file save as. I'm going to open that back up right here. Um, so say that she teaches multiple parts of this particular, um, multiple sections of this class, and she wants to have a file for each class. When, um, say this is a first hour class, she could go File and Save As, and then just name this um, like for her first hour. So you could have a file just specifically for the first hour and save that, and then you'd still have your original file available to you. So those are just a couple ideas on um, saving, printing, and exporting your Smart Notebook files. I'm sure you'll find those features very useful in sharing your work with your students and others. Thanks.